what's up this is part two of the six part series and here I'll be showing you how to fit up your medal for that competition now when you arrive to your regional or state competition you will have a Lincoln arc welder buzz box as we call them 60 11s and 3 16 mild carbon steel and that is two by six and when you finish tacking it up it should look a little bit like this all right so you will have a vertical butt weld a vertical T-joint, and then your flat weld, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and tack up our piece so that you know what it should look like. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and tack up my butt weld here. And this is, I, I just grabbed a rod, that's what I used to get the right gap for me. And I'm gonna turn my machine up on a higher temperature so that I know I get good tacks. And I'm gonna tack it on either side. Now you'll want to leave your tacks on the bottom so it doesn't, um, I guess, ruin your weld and it, it, it'll look better whenever you show it to the judges. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tack my vertical piece. So now that we have it fit up, this is the time that I'm going to look at it and make sure that it is tacked up right. Because if you get down the road and you've got it welded out and it looks bad, you, you're not able to fix it. So right now I'm going to inspect it and make sure that it is squared off and the gaps are right and everything. And what I mean by that is I want the same gap from top to bottom so that when I start welding down here, it's the same gap when I get up here. Same with the vertical plate that it's squared off and it's not bent this way or this way. Because whenever you present this to judges, they don't want to look at a coupon that is not squared off and the gaps are off. And your welds aren't going to be that good either if it's not fit up correctly. People who win competitions are the ones who take the time and fit it up well and clean it and make sure that it's right. So now I'm going to tack it up on the table. And there you are. So that is how you should fit up your metal and you should weld it on the stand to be welded. Now you, have, you get an extra piece of metal and an extra rod. With these two, you're gonna test your temperatures because you may not be running the same you know, machine that you would at home or at school. So I'm gonna go ahead and test my temperatures. 